How's it going? I'd like to discuss the price. Well, we can try it. Is this enough? Well, a little more and we'll call it a deal. Finally, a reasonable sum. Fred! Have a Good look at health these to you. They'll stay firm all winter. Buy them before Goodbye. someone else does. Huh. I'm glad to see you. Take care now. Can we do something about the price? Well, we can try it. Since it's you. Well now, a little more I will shake on it. Aye, that would do it. God save you. Can we do something about the price? Hmm, all right, so? What about this? That's not enough. Aye, that would do it. I'm glad to see you. Lady Stephanie of Talmberg sent me to... And what would she like? Fine clothes from Venice? Exquisite spices from Arabia? Jewels from Germany? Wine. Good wine. Ah. Ah. Would beer be enough? As a gift for a noble woman's wedding? No, it definitely wouldn't. Then that's going to be a problem. I gave the last keg of good wine away as a prize for the archery competition tomorrow. Shit. Isn't there anywhere else where I could find the wine? Unfortunately not. I have the exclusive right to sell and buy that particular vintage. No one else in the region will stock it. Can I enroll in the competition? But of course. Go to the shooting range above Ratai. But what if I don't win the competition? Then you'll have to persuade the winner to part with some truly excellent wine. Uh, I suppose I'll just have to find a way to get it. I'm sorry, there's nothing more I can do to help. God be with you.
Baked goods fresh from the oven. Come and get them. I've got everything you need. Damn. I'm glad to see you. What I heard about him. What do you need? Let's have a word about the price. Hmm. All right, so. Aye, that would do it. I'm afraid you were right when you said these hostilities wouldn't end at Probislavitz. That comes as no surprise. What has happened? The men reported two more attacks today. <clears throat> ah, Henry. I'm glad you're here. It seems like we'll have another task for you. Come and join us. My lord. Greetings, lad. The bandits raided a few remote hamlets, but that's the least of our worries. They also attacked Merhoyed, and that's a much more serious matter. Merhoyed? Matthias is working there. They attacked right after the battle in Pervislavitz. Bastards are probably trying to prove they're still strong. But there's a silver lining. The villagers held them off. And they even took one captive. He's wounded. We can still interrogate him. Your graces. I hope I'm not intruding. On the contrary, Master Tobias. Unlike Bernard, you are the bearer of good tidings. Or so I gather from the coin you carry. Tell me, how many Groschen did we find in Pribislavitz? My lord, I'm sorry, but my news is no better than Captain Bernard's. These coins are very good. Uh, that is to say, well-made facsimiles, as we call them. Uh, fact what? I don't give a fact what you call them. I want to know what they're facking worth. Uh, that's just it, sir. They're worth nothing. Are you saying what I think you're saying, Master Tobias? Um... This here... Is just a pile of copper. Kurva! Fuck! Plated with silver, so it's still of some... <laughs> ...worth. Hmm. Kurva! Fuck! 
Is it a lot of work to make such counterfeits, Master Tobias? I should say so, sir. Highly demanding work. Especially to make such plausible forgeries. They would need a well-hidden foundry, several craftsmen, and a source of material. But they could just be brought in from somewhere else, could they not? Well, they could, but then again, the silver mines are nearby, and these grottoes seem freshly minted, so... So we are facing a foe who has almost limitless sources of coin. That's all we need. Doppler devil! Well, gentlemen, it's clear what we have to do. Interrogate that captive bandit, find out their numbers, and promptly cut off their supply of money. Otherwise, they'll soon have another encampment. They haven't already. I doubt it, sir. Merhayed wouldn't have been able to hold them off if they did. Well, lad, I said we'd have work for you, but it never crossed my mind there would be this much. You've already proved your worth as an investigator, so I'm putting my faith in you again. Go to Merhayed and question that captive. Find out where those brigands are hiding, how many there are, and what they're planning. And while you're at it, see if you can find some clues as to where this counterfeit coin is coming from. Very well, sir. Good luck. We're counting on you. All of us. Come report to me as soon as you know anything. I'll be at the lookout point near Talmberg. What do you need? I've heard there's a contest happening, and that the prize is a keg of fine wine. That's true. I bought the finest wine to be had in the province. I'd like to take part. Do you know the rules? I do. Splendid. Here's some arrows for you. But you can use your own if you want. Meanwhile, I'll round up the competition.
Take care. God be with you. Congratulations on your victory. Thank you. I can't wait to drink to it. Yes, and um, on the subject of drinking, I'm guessing you prefer beer to wine. <laughs> no, not really. I could drink beer in any tavern, but there's no wine as good as this one. It's just that the wine you want, I need it. Not a chance. I want it fairly. You don't want to disappoint Lady Stephanie of Talmberg and her courier, do you? Lady Stephanie, you say? I've always liked her ladyship. Mm. You know what, then? Take the keg. And please give her my respectful greetings. Good boy. Yeah.
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. I need some directions. Good day to you. Where are you going? To Ushitz. I have to see the bailiff. I'm a little lost myself, actually. Give me a moment to look around and figure out where we are. Thanks. Farewell. Where are you going? To Ushitz. I have to see the bailiff. Go north, through the woods. Ah, thank you very much. God be with you. Yeah! Yeah.
Yeah! God save you. What have you done? Did you kill her? What are you trying to pin on me, you bastard? It... it was you! I didn't kill anyone. The corpse was already lying there when I got here. What are you doing here? Nearby a corpse. Nearby a murder. I'm looking for cumins. And killing any I find. Q? Not likely. I've got a funny feeling about you. But I can't be absolutely sure you did it. I'm relieved to hear it. And what exactly were you doing here, anyway? What are you getting at? You were looting the body right here on the road. What of it? A corpse doesn't need possessions. You're carrying the murder weapon. You won't prove it's a murder weapon, but I prove I know how to use it. It'll be easier for you if you confess. All right, then. I did it. I didn't want to kill her, I just wanted to have a bit of fun. Then she pulled a knife on me, I took it off her, and this is how it ended. You don't have to tell anyone, you know, and, and you won't regret it. Forget it. I won't be bribed. See you later. Give up your weapon, and you can go. Very well.
Jesus Christ be praised. Take care now. Let's have a word about the price. Well, we can try it. Agree? Well now, a little more and we'll shake on it. See now, I knew we'd come to an agreement. got for you. You'll love this. Good fella. That's my boy. Yeah. 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 God be with you. I'd like you to show me how to ride a horse better. Certainly. Well, I'll think it over. God be with you.
Good health to you. I'm looking for the local groom. Well, you found him. What can I do for you? The Lady Stephanie of Talmberg sent me. She said you have a roan ready for her. Well, well... Chamberlain Dietrich said someone would come. We have him here, but if he's ready, I can't say. That miserable horse will let you saddle him and walk him around the courtyard, but as soon as someone sits on him, he goes completely wild. That horse is supposed to be presented at a noble woman's wedding. It probably won't be appropriate if he makes a spectacle of his rider. Is there anything I can do? Try asking Vasha. For some reason, that devil horse listens to him. Then take the horse with you. Dietrich's arranged everything. Farewell. I heard you have a way with the horse that unsaddles everyone else. Yes. I suppose I do. And how do you do it? How do you calm him down? I... I'm good to him. Well, I want to treat the horse well too. But I don't know how, because I don't know him as well as you do. Will you help me? I sing to him. You sing to him? What? Two horses come roaming in the merry month of May to graze in the shade of the apple tree there. The first one is brown and the second is grey. Which shall I ride to my maiden so fair? That's, uh, interesting. I know how it looks, but he likes it. Thank you, Vashek. May the Lord watch over you. Yeah. 
definitely the first horse I've ever serenaded. Two horses come rolling, Mary must have made. Yeah. It's the thing. Definitely the first horse I've ever serenaded. Horse come
there. That's a good boy. That's my boy. Look what I've got for you. You'll love this. God bless. Can I help you? Can we trade? If you've got the coin. Can we do something about the price? Hmm... All right, so. What do you say to this? I'd almost shake on that. Almost. Aye. For that amount, I can be persuaded.
Yeah. How are you? What happened here? Horror of horrors, Master. We were attacked by some bandits, and then the plague broke out. Jesus Christ. That's right. The Almighty has sent this punishment on us. These bandits, who were they? Some thieving rabble. What do I know? Maybe those damned humans, but they spoke Czech. Ask the captive at the Melichars. How did you manage to fight them off? Well, we were lucky. Young Straw saw the gang a little way out of the village and ran to warn old Melichar. If it wasn't for that, none of us would be here. It looks like you fended them off, though. I can't see any burned houses. They had no time for that, but they've left us with fresh graves. Young Straw himself got cut up something terrible, and a few others. We've a number of wounded, and now the plague to crown it all. Christ preserve us. Melichar, Straw, those names are new to me. They're locals. Melichar's been in charge here since old vassal Smil from Neuhof passed away. May God grant him eternal peace. And Straw, that's the local woodsman, poor fellow. The bandits killed his son, and his wife has the disease. Where will I find Melichar? If you stand at the main gate of the stables and look across the road, Melichar's is the house on the left. I'd like to talk to Straw. I see. 
Well, if you stand at the main gate of the stables and look across the road, you'll see Straw's house on the right. And the disease? Tell me something about it. I don't want to tempt fate by talking about it. it. Makes me shudder to think of it. There's not much to tell anyway. It hit us just after that rabble left. First the horses died, then livestock, and now it's people. Like Melikar's wife, poor thing. I'm looking for Matthias. I think he works at the stud here. Matthias, Matthias. Wait, I know. He's not been here long, isn't that right? Not long, it's true. Well, those bastards got him. He's laid up at the stud now. His arm's in a bad way. But at least he's still alive. Thank you. Thank you. That's all. Goodbye. Hal? You're a sight for sore eyes. What are you doing here? It's good to see you too, Matthias. Sir Radzig sent me here to investigate the raid. Sir Radzig? Looks like you've come up in the world, mate. You're here as his envoy? Yeah, something like that. But that's not important right now. Well, I'm glad to see you have a job. Lots of our old neighbours have been reduced to begging. If I were in your shoes, I'd get the hell out of here. There's some disease spreading. Disease? Folk is saying it's the plague. Whatever it is, it's bad. It started the day after the raid. First the horses got sick, then other animals, and now people are falling ill too. Damn! Are you alright? Well, at least I haven't caught the sickness. But you've been hurt. It happened during the raid. One of those damn bandits fell on me, horse and all. My arm's badly broken, but better than a broken neck. Tell me about the raid. What do you want to know? I hear one of the raiders was taken captive. I'd like to question him. Aye, old Melikar let him have it over the head with a flail, and now he's locked up in the barn. But be careful. Why is that? That fucker killed young Straw, and his old man's sharpening his sickle for him. Melikar still hasn't decided what to do with him. I can tell you what he'll do with him. He'll hand him over to Sir Radzig's envoy. Me. I doubt Melikar will let him go willingly. The folk here are baying for blood. Lives have been lost. First the raid, and now this plague. God knows what they'll do. Can you describe the raiders? I don't know. They came at dusk, so you couldn't see their faces. About 20 of them. They weren't humans, though. They spoke Czech. You talked to them? No, no. They were shouting at us. They were very sure of themselves to begin with, but when we hit them in the woods, they didn't look so brave. I know you've got courage enough for any man, but how did a bunch of untrained villagers manage to hold off armed bandits? One of the village lads caught sight of them coming through the woods and told Melikar who roused the whole village, and everyone grabbed what they could. Pitchforks, axes, flails, and we went out to face them. What? You mounted an assault against them? Aye, and that was the key. It was the last thing those whore sons expected. A few of them still managed to break through to the village, probably wanted to torch it. But even the women here were armed with what they could find, and they took the bastards by surprise. Tell me about the raid. What do you want to... About this sickness. 
When did this plague start? The day after the raid. The horses were lying down in the stable, so we knew something was up. By afternoon, they were all dead. Then other animals started getting sick, one after the other, and then people. What are the signs that someone's getting sick? Well, I don't leave the house much, but folk complain of fever and shakes. Some are throwing their guts up, and others are spewing from the other end. Has anyone died from it? Aye, old Verba. Although he was already on his last leg, so no one knows for sure if it was the plague that got him. Either way, the animals are dropping like flies, and people will end up the same for sure. Who's ill now? I don't know. What with my arm the way it is, I don't go outdoors much. But I know Melikar and Straw have sick ones at home. Can I ask you a bit about Merkel yet? I haven't been here long enough to learn much, but ask away. Can you tell me something about Old Straw? He's a woodcutter, tough as they come, and a hothead. He's been out of his mind since his boy died. Well, it's normal to grieve, though. Depends how you look at it. Folk are afraid he'll snap or drink himself to death. What's worse, his wife caught the sickness, and he's not taking care of her. Where can I find this straw? When you take the main gate out of the stables, you'll see two cottages outside. Straw lives in the right-hand one. What's Melikar like? The locals look up to him. Smil used to be in charge here, but he was killed in Neuhof. I know. Sir Hanush hasn't had time to appoint a new vassal, and folk need someone to speak for them, so they picked Malachar. Thank God you had someone here who could take the reins. Aye. Where does Malachar live? When you take the main gate out of the stables, you'll see two cottages outside. Malachar lives in the left-hand one. God be with you. Take care. You're not allowed inside. If you want to go in, talk to Melikar. God be with you. I need to talk to that captive. Sorry, no one's allowed inside. Melikar's orders. All right. Good luck to you.
What happened? Horror of horrors, Mum. Jesus. That's right. Where will I find? If you stand at the main gate. Thank you. That's all. Goodbye. Are you Melikar? Oh, aye, that's me. I need to speak with the prisoner. And why is that? Who might you be? Henry, envoy of Saradze Kobola. I'm here to investigate the attack. I'm sorry. I have other things on my mind right now. In case you hadn't noticed, we have pestilence raging here. And Saradze won't help us with that any more than he helped us when we were attacked. No news has reached Ratai of any disease here. But I'm here now, and I can help you. Hmm. Well, since you serve Sir Adzig, you might be of some use. If anyone can be. Tell me what to do. There's a stable hand living with us here, Matthias. Yes, I know him. And he knows some girl who helps out in the monastery infirmary. Your hanker, I think her name is. She might know someone to turn to. If she's actually there. It might have crossed your mind to send someone there sooner. People are barely venturing outside their own homes, they're so scared. And word has got around that the plague is raging here. If someone met us wandering about, well, I'd fear the worst. And besides, you're the envoy of Saradze Kobila himself. Your word will carry more weight in the monastery than some lowly peasants. Very well. I'll go to the monastery. It's probably our best hope. Thank you. At least for taking the trouble. But then, even if you cared nothing for us, the prisoner's got the pestilence too. He'll die without help. If I have to go to the monastery, I need to know as much as possible about the disease. I'll definitely need to know its symptoms. They're bound to ask me that. It's hard to say. My wife is feverish. Others have the chills. I heard some are throwing up. Others still are breaking out in sores. But why don't you see for yourself? People talk a lot and I don't know what to believe anymore. Very well. I'll make the rounds. I've daubed lime on the afflicted houses, but don't stay too long in those homes. <laughs> that I can promise you. Good luck to you. You're out of luck. I'm old Straw, don't you know? Straw! You've taken my son. But you shan't take my wife, you bastard. I've come to help your wife. To help her over to the other side? Isn't that God's own truth? I don't have time to explain everything to you. I need to... So you don't have the time? Come here, you fucker! Ah! 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 
Chop you to pieces, you rat! Fever, just like Melchar's wife. Don't speak to me. See, we have the plague cross on the door. My name is Henry. I'm going to the monastery to get help. It's long past time. The Lord's already taken my poor Anthony. And what do you want from me? I need to know how the illness afflicted your husband. Yes, I'll tell you everything. But first help me bury my husband. I'm too weak. 
and Melichar said the dead should be buried at once. Of course I'll help you. Thank you. We have to bury him at the back of the house. There's a lovely linden tree there. I understand. I'll dig the grave there. Thank you. When you're ready, come back. I'll say goodbye for now. It's done. Thank you. Now please take him there. Oh Lord. Will you please tell me about his illness? Certainly. My husband had the fever all over. Anything else? He had great pains in his belly. He said it felt like he'd been stuffed with rocks. He was writhing all night through. He must have hurt terribly. Thank you. <coughs> Jesus, lad, what are you doing here? Can't you see the play cross on the door? I'm here because of it. The monastery sent me to help. God bless you, boy. It's about time. I need to know exactly what you're suffering from. Oh, I see. Well, I have a dreadful fever. My wife, too. I recall almost nothing of yesterday. I was raving for most of it. Is there anything else? Apart from the fever? Well, forgive me for saying so. The shit just pours out of me. I can't keep anything in. I'm completely worn out. My wife's the same. You have my thanks. I'll try to bring help. Wait a minute, will you? I have one favour to ask. So tell me. I need to write my will. Can you write? I might manage that. 
Excellent. So get writing. Yes. I, Vincent, son of Vincent, grandson of Vincent of Mehoyed, do bequeath my estate and all my worldly goods to my wife Wilma. If my wife were to pass away with me, mm -hmm. I bequeath all to my cousin Dobesh, at this time the cobbler in Yanovitz. In no event shall my prodigal son Elia, the layabout and good for nothing, inherit a single groschen, all customs and traditions aside. Um, should I write that too? Yes. And then write, the executor of my last will is to be my good friend, Father Fabian, presently the parish priest at the church of St. Martin in Sasso. Anything else? This will was written down by. What is your name? Henry, presently in fealty to Sir Radzig Kobola. Well, I never. That will add some weight. Here, take my ring so Fabian will know it to be truly from me. You can never be sure nowadays. Your son Elijah, what did he do to you? Christ Almighty! Trying to interfere, are you? What did he do? Everything. He was to be married, and instead he ransacked the house and ran off. The little fucker. Last we heard he was some jackhand in Sasso. Boozing, playing dice, lying and cheating for a living. Such a disgrace. Where can I find Father Fabian? Well, where do you think? In St. Martin's Church, of course. All right, I'll head off then. Yes, go now. Go before you catch the disease. Then where will we be?
Brother, dearest brother, is that you? No, I'm not your brother. Then go away. I want my brother. Brother, my brother, where are you? Farewell. Brother, dearest brother, is that you? Yes, it's me, your um, brother. I found it's nearly here. We need to get the scallops for the fair. Um, tell me, brother, how are you feeling? Wait, you're, you're not my brother. You're one of those brutes. Brother, lock the door. They're back again. Please, God, no. Brother, don't you recognize me? It's me. I'm your brother. I was gone for a long time. I've come back home for Advent, remember? Yes, uh, uh, yes, I remember. Give me a drink of water, brother. Oh, I'm thirsty, terribly thirsty. I feel like I'm burning in hell. I can drink a pitcher of water and right away I'm parched again. Take care now. Yeah! Yeah. Help, help. 
Yeah. Yeah. What does he want here? But I need more for them! We can supply you with a few more blankets, but not many. Look at them! Look at the state they're in! I know! I know the wounded need caring for! One of them dragged himself in here with broken ribs, and now he's going to die from pneumonia and starvation! Look, we're doing the best we can, and this kind of attitude isn't helping. I bid you a good day. Hunker? Uh, Henry? I'm glad to see you. Me too. I heard that you're doing well. Not right now. Matthias sent me. Matthias? My god, did something happen? I don't know if you've heard about it, but Merhoyed was attacked. Oh god! How is Matthias? Wounded in the arm. He's being brave about it, but his injury looks bad. I need to see him. Before you go, there's something else. What? Some kind of disease has taken hold in Merhoyed. Their livestock has died off, and now the people are coming down with it too. I thought maybe someone here might know what to do. Merciful heavens. How awful. It's a good thing you've come here. If there's any hope, this is the place to find it. You need Brother Nicodemus, the monastery physician. He may know how to deal with it. Very well. I'll try to find him. 
Come back when you know more. Thank you, Johanka. And who are you? Brother Elias. What do you do here? What I can. I'm just trying to help the Scalots locals as much as I can. How long have you been helping here? Since before the refugees arrived. It was much less crowded back then. And what do you do here exactly? Mainly I help Brother Nicodemus. Occasionally I keep watch at night in case someone takes a turn for the worse. Sometimes I have to hold the patient down or fetch and carry things. Do you know anything about healing? A little. I can manage the basics, but... Without Brother Nicodemus, I'd never be able to deal with the more difficult cases. Thank you. May the Lord watch over you. Some kind of disease has taken hold in Merhoyed. Johanka said that you might be able to advise. A disease, you say? How intriguing. Intriguing? It's terrifying. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to sound uncaring. All right. The important thing is whether you can help us. I can't say at this point. I need to find out a little more. Tell me, has the whole village come down with it? sleep again. No, I mean, not yet. Several households have, around half the village. Mehoyed? Isn't there a stud farm there? And what of the animals? Did they get infected too? Yes, there's a stud farm. And they've all died off. The horses, the cattle, chickens, and now it's got to the people. That is most intriguing. Uh, sorry. I mean to say it's most unusual. Do you know the symptoms? Uh, please, help me. Yes, more or less. Excellent. I have several extensive volumes here in the library. Describe the epidemic, including the symptoms, and we could take some guidance there. Can you read? <coughs> yes, I can. Excellent. So follow me sleep. to the scriptorium. I just won't get any sleep. So, where shall we start? Evidently there's something amiss in the digestive tract. In the what? The digestive tract, Henry. Um, right. <sighs> the trouble lies between the mouth and the arsehole. Uh-huh. Sure. Just so. We can rule nothing out at this stage. You look in the Breviarum to Cygnus Gauza. It's a renowned manuscript from Salerno, written by one Johann of St. Paul. But I don't know Latin. Fortunately for you, our brother librarian is translating these momentous medical works into the common tongue. So you can still be of use. Study the breviary carefully and compare the symptoms with the recorded cases. That will guide us. I'll try the proven classics, Avicenna and his Canon Medicinae, and Galen's Magnum Opus, the Ars Medicinalis. May the Lord watch over you. I'll wager that Jerome has taken them out again. Hmm. Hmm. 
if we hear? around here somewhere. I think I have it. Yes? And what do you make of it? It's poisoning from tainted water. Really? That sounds rather unlikely. But if Master Johann of St. Paul's says so, who am I to contradict him? We shall have to prepare some medicine at once. I don't think I can help out with that. I didn't expect you could. You surprised me quite enough with your reading. But enough chatter. Time is of the essence. I'll get to work brewing the potion, and then head straight to Merhoyed with your hunker. I expect we'll meet there? That works for me. But can't I help in some way? Best spend the time praying. We can always use God's help. Farewell. Can I take a look inside the monastery? What's got into you, boy? The grounds inside the monastery belong to the monks of the Order of St. Benedict. No others shall pass. I've been sent here from Talmberg. I'm to speak with the one responsible for construction. That'd be the master builder. Or with our brother, the overseer. What matter is it you're here about? It has to do with the stone for construction. Ah, then that's a matter of supply. You'll want to talk to the overseer. He knows more about that sort of thing. His study's right above us, more or less. Go up the steps to the left and then head back in this direction, almost the whole way. God be with you. health to you. I've come in the name of Sir Divish. I'd like to have a look around the spot where the accident happened. And why is Sir Divish interested in that regrettable accident? He'd like to know what role the masonry had in it, or at least its quality. I guess it played a crucial role, but I don't intend to stand in the way of your investigation. I've already made sure the poor man was well taken care of, and that's enough for me. Thank you. I appreciate it. Who's in charge of purchasing materials for the construction? Mainly it's me. I pay the fees and make arrangements for delivery. But those in charge of the actual building take care of the rest. I'm not knowledgeable when it comes to the quality of stone. They had the red stone delivered from a long way off. They take care of storage as well. Yes, but usually whatever arrives is used up straight away. The construction is in full progress. Do you remember when they brought the last delivery of stone? Yes. It rained a lot that week, so they let the carriage sit right outside of the gate on the other side of the wall. It took some time before it was dry enough for further transport. And there wasn't anything strange about it? A little strange, I suppose. Usually they bring us a large block of stone, which the builders cut to size. This time it was a number of smaller pieces. 
No one complained. They probably saw it as less work. I heard that you were late with your payment to the Talmberg quarry. That's true. We ourselves had late payments and it took some time before we gathered enough money to pay. But that's happened in the past. God be with you. Well, you know how to lift a fellow's spirit. Good day to you. The overseer sent me. You're to show me the place where the accident happened. <sighs> like I've got time to spare to show you round. He should have done it himself. Why do you want to know, anyway? Because of the Talmberg stone. If they really are delivering poor quality material, then there should be consequences. I'd be interested in what kind. <laughs> But I'm guessing the Overseer likes the idea of cheaper stone, right? And have you noticed anything else going on? Of course. It's a construction site. Things are always going wrong. The men are always complaining and the work isn't being done fast enough. <laughs> so it's just like any other building work? Essentially, yes. Occasionally someone brings in bad wood or a man cuts off his thumb and blames it on a bad omen. And then there's all these rumours going round. I'd be interested to know what the men talk about. Who's been stealing? Which men from the monastery go to visit women? 
how the work's going, normal things. It's only the talk about the curse that's not in the normal run of things. And then there's that devil's skull they dug up. You talked about the devil's skull? I did. They say it was found in the hole dug for the foundation of the scaffolding. They moved it so it would do its harm elsewhere. But I wasn't there to see it, so I don't know. And who might know more? Shouldn't you be investigating the stone? Leshek's in charge of the scaffolding, so ask him if you really have to know. He might tell you something. Who's stealing? Could someone be stealing the stone? According to the rumours, everyone from the abbot and the custodian down to the lowest labourer. It's like with whores and dice. There's no protection against slander. And something gets lost here and there, that's true. But nobody stole any stone. There wouldn't be any left if every man here started helping himself, would there? Where's the scene of the accident? It didn't happen on the main site. It was at the outbuilding next to the church, right under the long stairs before the entrance door. Ask my assistant who's in charge there. You'll easily recognize him. He dresses up like he owns the... Than mine. My respects to you. I heard you found something. It's true. I dug it up during work. I then ran away with it and got rid of it so the others wouldn't see. But rumors spread anyway. And what was it that nobody was supposed to see? What do you think? A demon skull. Here on holy ground, in the middle of the monastery. But it was outside the monastery walls. Where, exactly? Is there anything else there worth seeing? Nothing but scaffolding. We started digging there to set foundations for extending it. And are you sure it was a devil's skull? I know what I saw. I can recognise a human skull. And this one had horns. Like the devil, besides. The thing gave off a diabolical stink. And where is it now? What did you do with it? I... I was taking it down to the river to throw it in. Only I dropped it at the top of the slope and it rolled downhill. The devil alone knows where it ended up. Hmm. I'll see if I can find it. May the Lord watch over you.
Jesus Christ be praised. Did you see the accident that happened here? I didn't see. I was down at the bottom and I heard something rumble and then screams. I ran up and helped to carry him out. Did you notice anything suspicious? When they left, there was a terrible stench. We were being punished for digging up that skull. God be with you. Good health to you. Did you see the accident that happened here? I didn't see it. I was down at the bottom and I heard something rumble and then screams. I ran up and helped to carry him out. Did you notice anything suspicious? When they left, there was a terrible stench. We were being punished for digging up that skull. God be with you.
Hmm. It looks genuine, but I'm not capable of judging. Yeah. God be with you. The Lady of Talmberg sent me. She wants me to find out why the crown's been delayed. Uh, through no fault of ours, I can tell you that. We had a large stone ordered for mounting on the crown, a beautiful Moldavite from South Bohemia that we had cut and polished in Prague. But, well, in short, the good merchant, Martin Wiesek, who was supposed to bring it from Prague, got lost along the way. It's like the ground swallowed him up. Lady Stephanie won't be happy. Uh, look, we've got something else here we can replace the stone with, but I'm sure even you can see it's not worthy of a noble wedding, and definitely not worthy of our fine craftsmanship. Oh, if I only had someone who'd try to find the Moldavite. Uh, why don't you just ask me? Of course I'll try to find the stone. Just tell me where the fellow was seen last. That fellow, as you call him, the esteemed merchant, Martin Wiesek, was last seen riding alongside the Sassal River, passing by the footbridge over the ford, to the west of here. Evidently, he never made it to Sassal town. Hmm. Well, I'll look for him, but he could be far over the mountains by now, or under the ground. Take care now.
Alive. Of course we're alive. You can't get rid of us that easily. I'm almost surprised how happy I am to see the pair of you are all right. We are now, but we barely made it. Yeah, yeah, it was hard. Fritz ran like a little girl. Really? Bollocks. Bloody joker. <laughs> Tell us what happened to you. They gave me a pretty good thrashing as well. It was only in Rattai that I got back in my right mind. You're not doing too well either, are you? Right now, I'm a squire for Saradzig. I see you've worked your way up. Ah. And how are you two getting by? It's shit. You said it. We're still chopped off to bits. Oh, the monastery a bundle. And there's no work here. Not for anyone with more than half a brain, anyway. Well, you two and work never got along. But don't tell me that they're not in need of carpenters. They're reconstructing the monastery. They don't want us there. And there's nothing else around here. Hey, you wouldn't happen to know of anything. It will really help us out right now. Well, I can ask around, but I'm not promising anything. Thanks, Henry. We'll pay off the debt, don't you worry. And where would they hire you to? Well, we were carpenters in the mines. So wherever they work with wood, I suppose. Forget about construction. After Scarlet's, no one will be building for a long time. Just here in Sasau, and they don't want us here. The best chance we have is to work at a mill. People always have to eat. Ideally, we're looking for a job that pays a lot and doesn't require much work. Welcome, Henry! What other neighbours of ours made it? Your hunkers in the monastery. That girl really helped us out. That's about all we know. When we ran for it, we helped Teresa, but who knows where she is now? We got separated. I owe my life to Teresa. She hauled me unconscious to the mill in Ratai and nursed me back to health. I'm glad she survived. Since you know her so well, why not try asking her if she knows about any work? Bye. God be with you. I'm here looking for a fellow called Elijah from Merhoyed. I know him, but you're most likely to find him in some tap room on the square. He only comes here now and then. Thanks. May the Lord watch out. What do you need? Goodbye. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Good health to you. Are you Elijah? That's me. Why? I have your father's last will and testament on me. <laughs> so my old man's kicked the bucket, has he? Not yet, but he's at death's door. That is certainly interesting to hear. But let me ask you this. Who the hell are you and how come you turn up here with father's will? Anyway, the old miser won't leave me even a piss pot. He's disinherited you, but if you return home, he might change his mind. Go back home? Not a chance. Let him choke on his bloody money. People come to see things differently on their deathbed. You might regret that one day. By Christ, who are you anyway? You sound like a preacher. You don't have to go back for good, but you ought to say farewell to your father. Hail as usual. To hell with him. I suppose you're right. Thank you. My pleasure. Good luck to you. Greetings. What do you need? Let's have a word about the price. Hmm, all right, so... Is this enough? That's a poor offer. I knew we'd come to an arrangement.
Yeah. Yeah!
So here I am. How are things looking? Uh, it's a good thing you're here. We need a helping hand. You can take the cure to the villagers and make sure they take the right dose. I'll take care of Melikar and Straw. You go around the rest of the houses. They wouldn't let me go near that prisoner. They want him to suffer. Despite his terrible crimes, to treat a fellow mortal soul like that. Perhaps I'll be able to convince them. I promised I'd bring them help, and I've kept my word. They must let me go to him. I hope so, but in the short while I've been here, i found the locals to be rather stubborn. May the Lord watch over you. You're back? Yes, and I have something to make you well again. Good Lord above. Thank you for showing us your mercy. Drink this and give it to everyone in the house. I've also brought someone who will take care of you until you get back on your feet. Thank you, Good Samaritan. Brother, is that you? We have to hitch up the sled. Yes, yes, the sled. Just you drink this and you'll be fine. Is this holy water, brother? It is. Drink some and give it to the others in the house too. Brother Nicodemus will come to check on you. Mama. Stop. You're back? Of course. I always keep my word. Thank you for having words with my son. It would have been wrong to die without even saying farewell to him. Will you alter your will, then? Don't be so hasty. Is one visit to his parents enough to make up for years of misdeeds? Perhaps not. Did you deliver my will? Not as yet. Then be quick about it, please. A man on his deathbed must set his house in order. Don't worry. I've brought a remedy from Sasau. 
Drink this regularly, you and everyone in the house. A remedy. You have hands of gold, pure gold, my boy. God bless you. Good luck to you. Look out. We found out what could be the cause of the affliction. And? You should check where your water's coming from. Nicodemus and I think that it comes down to poisoning. It'd be hard to poison the spring, but what about the well? Good Lord, that's difficult to believe. Well, I have my suspicions. The bastards weren't satisfied with killing young Straw. The fucking bastards! I brought some help, as promised. Will you let me see the prisoner? I will let you, I will. Of course I will. My boy, if you've really brought a potion to rid us of this scourge, I'll let you do anything. Ah, whether I've managed to rid you of the scourge, that remains to be seen. It'll take a few days before we know whether the potion worked. I know, but even so, just the fact that someone cares, that means a lot to us.
Don't fret about that, Melikar. A thing like that would have scared anybody. Just take care of, um... What is your wife's name? Hannah. So, take good care of her. Now open up that shed. Good luck. Let's wait and see what happens. Yeah. 